sub YouTubers is about the computer here, and today basically we're just going to teach you how to make a uh, quiz and flash. I know a lot of people have been telling you how to do it, but today I'm going to use that same method. But I'm also going to add a couple tricks, um, where it's not just buttons, it's other stuff. Alright, but first of all, let's just get through with the basics of making the quiz. I'm not even going to do a title page. I mean, that that's just too obvious. Okay. You, you you make a title thing or whatever and you put it up at the top drag it wherever all right and then what you do is you just all you do is drag it off drag it out press f8 or right click on it convert to symbol and just shoot button and uh double click on it um, it has up on over when they like hover the mouse over you can change it to a different color and they click down on it you can make it a different color and hit arrow to sleep that uh, so basically you have that kind of motion going um it's basically it slap some text down start uh it, it's not that big of a deal the title page is really easy to make it's like the easiest part ever um and that's pretty much it. That's your start right there. Uh, but if you want, of course, your start to work, you go to the next, to the first question. Uh, you're going to give it some code. And every single piece of code I'll have in the description, so don't worry. Um, you'll click on the button itself, and go into actions right here, or press F9. Um, and type on here, on release, go to and Play. Notice the capitalization, it's big. Two. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, but there's no frame two, so what you do is click on frame two up here, right click, insert, blank keyframe. And now just make your question. Um, this is really easy. What is what? Uh, I'm just randomly putting stuff down. Okay, whatever, and what you're gonna do is you make the buttons once again. Control D, by the way, to uh, copy and paste and stuff, like duplicate, or you can right click on it and click. Alright, never mind. I think you go to click on it, edit, duplicate, that is. There it is. Alright. Um, okay, basically just slap the same code down to the right. Um, well, first of all, right click on a convert to symbol button and button and basically just give it some code this will be the wrong answer so I'll put on release go to and play a hundred oopsies crap a hundred there we go and just basically copy and put oh, snap there we go copy and paste it um, onto this one. So change that 100 to 3. Um, okay, so we're going to uh, do the same animation we had. F6, or right click, insert keyframe. Uh, there we go. Uh, red. Same tan or whatever. I think that's the same one. <laughs> uh, wow, I, I really, I think that's the same one. Um, okay, red, and, no, no, that's not the same one. <laughs> Snap, I hate phones. God, I hate the phones. Um, anyway, uh, you know, just slap down your old stuff. Uh, and basically put yes, and control D. No. Okay, so now I have that down. Uh, we have the code down and everything. Um, so, um, all, we're going to scroll all the way down to frame 100 up here. Right click, insert blank keyframe. And put a simple game over. Um, try again. Um, 
okay. Uh, and I'll put, oopsies, uh, there'll be your button to go again. I'm not even gonna bother putting the text, I'm just gonna put the uh, code in there. Cause I don't want this to take too long. Button on. Once again, this code will be in the description if you if you're too lazy to um type it out. I know it's kind of I know it's harder to type it out, but still two because frame two is the frame that you go back at this first. And basically, why I play for the wrong answer, go to and play a hundred because on the hundredth frame, it's the loser scene. And on the other one, I put three because that's going to be the next question on frame three. Doesn't that make sense? Um, because that's frame two right now. And on this, this I put a one or a two. Well, for obvious reasons, to go to that next frame, which is on frame two, it's the first question. I forgot to put a one there. There we go. All right. Uh, anyway. I'm not even going to bother putting the text or animation. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so say you get the wrong answer. Oh, crap. Um, this is going to need to be multi-line. I forgot to tell you guys that. It's it's really big. I mean, it's all over. I also forgot to do something very important. I can't believe it. Uh, what you do is you uh, create a new layer. See down here, it's our layer right there. And you put, there's a keyframe right here. You click on it, go to actions. Once again, in the description, type stop. That stop action right there. And just do that for every one. Right click, insert keyframe, stop, parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon. And just do that for the start page, all the questions that you have, and the losers page, and the winners page. Do it for every single frame you have. Um, okay, so now we have this title start. What is what? Yes, well, there's no winner. There's no frame three. Wait, that was the wrong answer. Oops. We'll say you uh, know it doesn't do anything because there's no frame three. If you click yes, he goes to the over try again. And see, so it goes back. I will make a frame three instead of like keyframe. And then, of course, um, that was F6, by the way. You do stop action right there. Uh, let me tell you something though, you know how I said it was going to be a little bit more advanced? Well, this is where it gets advanced. Alright, I'm going to teach you guys how on like, um, well, you know what? I'll just make a part two. That'll be easier. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's pretty much how to make the basic quiz. Um, but that's the boring quiz as well. So check out part two and part three for, um, the advanced parts. Thanks for watching.